Hi guys, it's Professor Fernandez and here with yet another video on this wonderful journal that you have to do. This time I'm actually using for an example a journal that has already been turned in and already, already been graded um, from your particular class. So if you're listening to this in fall 2020, this is from one of your classmates. If you're listening to this after fall 2020, this is from a classmate that you've probably never met before but they're giving you a wonderful gift. So let me screen share and let's talk about this essay and why it did so well. So I'm gonna screen share. And of course I took off their names because it's none of your business who it is, <laughs> right? So um, I'm screen sharing here and I want to talk about a couple of things here, all right? So I wanna talk about the structure of this because the structure is a good thing here. I want to talk about all the places where this particular student put their um, opinion because the journal is opinion heavy. And then I want to talk about kind of the end paragraph and the beginning paragraphs. I know that um, maybe doing the intro is very um, difficult for you and a lot of people want to start with the intro. Don't start with the intro. Start with the second paragraph. You're gonna come back to write the intro. And the reason why is because the introduction paragraph, the purpose of an introduction paragraph is to introduce to the writer what you are going to write about and what you're going to say. And so if you don't know what you're gonna write about and what you're gonna say, it's gonna be really hard to write the intro. So don't write the intro. So what you wanna do is start with the second paragraph. So I'm gonna only point out a couple of things of this intro. I'm gonna point out that, and maybe I should highlight, I'm gonna highlight, um, that this particular student told me what poem they're writing about in the name of that author or that writer. And they are also telling me the name of the, of the article, the news article and their author. Um, and I did check this and this is a news article. So they did really good there. Okay. So they told me that and they, and they also are telling me um, kind of what their thesis is. And if you've seen uh, the other video I did, you know that because this is really a response essay, if you've ever written a response essay, this is literally a glorified response essay. Or if you've written a memoir essay, it's a glorified memoir essay. Um, and so you can have for those types of, of essays, you really didn't have a thesis thesis, but you had an implied thesis. And so all a thesis is saying, hey reader, I'm gonna talk about this in this order. Boom, that's it, that's what it is. And so this particular wonderful student talked about it here and they put it at the end. You're telling me how these two relate to each other. He is not comparing or contrasting these articles at all. It is not the purpose of this journal. And this particular student said, um, these aspects of these two articles involve culture, dedication, feminism, and freedom. He really could have just had one, right? But I have this sneaking suspicion just based on reading this, that he used all of these wonderful words as search terms and they happen to be this topic, right? So that's it, that's all I'm gonna talk about the intro. I'll come back to it. So then you have here, first two sentences here are summary. That's it, you just get two sentences of summary at the beginning of, the, of your, one of your body paragraphs. And I know based on this, that this whole paragraph is gonna be about claims. Then this particular student went to um, do some analyzation, not a lot. So the analyzation comes from the strategy section of the rhetorical situation. That's why, another reason why you have to do the rhetorical situation. If you did not do the rhetorical situation or you breezed through it, if it took you 20 minutes, 15 minutes, even at this point, 30 minutes, you did it wrong. It needs to take you a solid hour, the whole thing. And a big chunk of that is gonna be strategy. 
in particular, for this particular um, journal, it's going to be elements of poetry. Okay, so he picked, he didn't give me the entire strategy, because I don't want the entire strategy. He's, he's telling me, oh, this particular poem talked about these topics, and he's only giving me the part of the strategy that he thinks help build that argument or help build that topic in the piece. That's it. That's it. The only thing that I wish he would have done here is to give me some of his opinion right here. But right now that's perfect. Um, and I don't mind it because as you will see in his fourth paragraph and final paragraph, it's a pretty heavy and significant paragraph. He just waited to give his, um, his opinion on the bottom, uh, the last paragraph, which is perfectly fine. Um, in the last video with Bianca, I said you could do some, some opinion here and in the last paragraph, you can do that too. Either way, whatever, whatever feels good to you, right? Regardless, you still have to have a pretty decent last paragraph because that's where the opinion is. Then this particular wonderful student writer um, wrote about the next thing and he talked about um this wonderful thing this wonderful uh article and he gave me just um he gave me two sentences as well here of, of a summary and then he gave me a lot of opinion a lot of opinion. this is how much opinion in this particular paragraph he gave me See how short the summary is? He's not giving me anything from the strategy or anything else from the rhetorical situation because I didn't ask him, nor am I asking you, to use the rhetorical situation on your news article. You only have to use it on the piece that we are reading, right? The point of the news article is that you're seeing the topics and the issues that are in the pieces that we're reading reflected or portrayed out in the real world. It doesn't have to be the exact same circumstance. It probably won't be, and it probably shouldn't be, but it's just reflected in that way. That was what I was talking about in the Bianca video where she was talking about um, inheritance and she found an article about inheritance being money rather than culture. And she was confused. She's like, I don't find anything about inheritance and culture. And I said, that's fine. You probably won't find anything in the databases on that. Inheritance is inheritance. If that's your topic, talk about the different types of inheritances. So that's what I'm talking about here. You don't compare and contrast. There are apples and oranges. You can't compare an apple with an orange. I mean, you could, but it's like, why would you do that? Um, so you're not a compare and contrast. But this is what this particular student writer did. Um, and it's kind of awesome. I was very excited. Read it, it was great even had in-text citation, which are not completely correct. But right now, I'm not looking for you guys to do any citations or a works cited page. That will happen later on in the semester um, because I want you to get this right first. Then we'll talk about works cited and in-text citations, okay? So then look at how long and how wonderful this last paragraph is. The last paragraph, what you're going to do is, of course, answer the questions that are in the assignment sheet, but you're also going to give me your opinion. So this particular writer said, after reading these two texts, I have discovered that motherhood is a time of significant change for a woman. Once she transcends to motherhood, she must also navigate her role as a mother, depending on her home environment, which can lead to both positive and negative emotional reactions. He is telling me what he learns by looking at what we read, claims, and what he read, how it's manifesting in the world. And he's asking these questions of these texts. So he says, if these two texts spoke to one another, they would discuss the challenges the experience of motherhood was given. As a result, it made me wonder, what did my mother sacrifice to raise me? Did she struggle or did she find help? See how that works? Like he's making these, um, these connections and he's analyzing these pieces by asking questions. And that's it. That's the entire thing. The journal is not meant to be a paper. There is time enough to just 
be anxious and eager about the paper. That's coming up. Do not wish it before it happens, right? Another thing I want to point out, see how he has a title here? I've said this before and I'll say it again. I start grading from the title. I really start grading from the heading because, uh, but pretty much you got to learn how to do a heading. This is how you do the heading. First name, last name. My last name, don't put Isis Fernandez. We're not on that level. Do not put Professor Isis Fernandez. We are not on that level. We're on a professor and student level. You thus call me Professor Fernandez, right? You put your, you put your, your um, class and then you put the date. And then you put a title. The title is not journal. It is not poetry journal. It is not journal number two, journal number three. You literally have to put a title because the title tells me what you are talking about. It kind of encapsulates what you're writing, okay? So that's it. That's the entire journal, done. And this journal did so well. Like I read it and I was just, I yelled in so much like joy. It was so good, right? So this is what you want to do. Um, I think another thing I wanna talk about here um let me make sure here make sure that you're putting quotation marks around the names of the article and the pieces that we are reading we're not reading any books here except for monstrous so monstrous you will need to put in italics but everything else in the class i think is in yes everything else is in quotation marks nothing else is in italics right so everything's in quotation marks so make sure you talk about that or make sure you do that. Um, let's see, other than that, pretty much this is it. I'm gonna put this in your D2L, um, let you know that it's there, and put this um, as a, and take it out of, <laughs> uh, take it out of this, and put this as an example uh, there so you can read it as well. Um, this is how you do it, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.